Well, it's been an exciting second day for Targa Bambina 2015. There's been a lot going on throughout the day. Not quite the carnage that we saw on the very wet first day for Targa Bambina, but late this afternoon, we have seen a few incidents. Looking at the results overall, in the Instra.com, all comers four-wheel drive, but still Glen Inksta leading that, and just a total demolition of the four-wheel drive field. I think there are five cars left running in that class at the moment. Inksta lost a little bit of time this afternoon over three stages with a misfire, which caused a little bit of concern. We were hearing various reports about what had happened, and he'd lost a whole lot of time, but he still has about a three, over three minute lead over Nick DeWall in the Subaru. So in modern two-wheel drive, the big story of the day has been the demise of Ross Graham, who was leading after day number one in his Tirana. He succumbed to a clutch issue, didn't get out of Waihe and into the afternoon stages. So that's put Rob Darrington into the lead. He's had a fantastic battle throughout the day with Simon Clark and Mike Lee. Mike Lee certainly making some big gains today. And in the Metalman Classic two-wheel drive, it's still Bevan Claridge by 35 seconds. It is very, very close with Mark kirk Benand in second and Barry kirk Benand in third. One of the bigger incidents, uh, speaking of the four-wheel drive classes, we have got some amazing onboard to uh, end the day one, uh, day two report here uh, in Rotorua. Graham Wong getting it wrong, well wrong in front of Lee Hopper. Enjoy and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Are you alright Graham? I'm okay.